Hi, Paul Begley here. So I know you know about the supermoon. I know everybody was all anticipating it. Russians were predicting a massive earthquake to hit America, either in the San, Han San Adrian Fault along California there, or maybe the Madrid Fault down along the Mississippi River over in my neck of the woods. But they were basing it on seismic readings and the force of the moon's pull of gravity as the moon on March 21st, 2011 would become the closest to the earth excuse me, that was, excuse me March 19th, 2011 the closest it would be to the earth in the past 18 years it's called a super moon when the moon is actually 14% larger in its visualization especially for us here in the Midwest in America and 30 times brighter than it normally is. Well, it was a spectacular sight. I physically saw it myself. But you ought to have seen it around the world, especially when it was over top the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. It was as red as my shirt. The moon was as red as blood. It was very, 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 very powerful. It was bright and glowing over New York City. It was seen over Pakistan in a miraculous view. Yes, it was truly a supermoon. But did it have any effects on the earth? And is it just a phenomenon, a freak thing of nature? Or has God got his design? Is it in the grand design plan of the great creator himself? This is the question that haunts many. And the Bible, if you go there, it has the answer. Of course, when the moon is up and is strong, especially when it's full, it affects the tides. They are higher or lower based on the proximity you are on the earth. But when it's a super moon, it's a super tide. Matter of fact, it caused three tides. A super moon creates a tide. Okay, a, The spring equinox creates a special tide. That's the day you can take an egg and set it on its end and it'll stand. Have you ever done that? It's the perfect gravitational pull as the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon are in perfect alliance for the spring equinox. And underground, the tides begin to swell because of the supermoon. Full moon, supermoon, spring equinox, three tides come together. Is that in the Bible? Let's read. If you'll go and look with me, if you have your Bible, open it to the book of Psalms, to the 33rd chapter. Let me read a couple, few verses here. As the Lord begins to tell you how he can affect the tides with the power of his own hand. Are you serious? Did I say it was a red moon over Washington and it just went right on past you? I'm telling you, Google it. Red moon over Lincoln Memorial. Look at the pictures. They're spectacular. It was huge, and it was blood red. It was the color of this shirt. A miraculous sight. A sign of God. Let's read. Psalms 33. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp. Sing unto him with the palstry and with the instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud voice. For the word of the Lord is night, is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment, and the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. Let me say that again. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. <sighs> Imagine that. Spoke his word, the very breath that came out. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathereth the waters of the sea together as a heap. He layeth up the depth in storehouses. He gathereth the waters of the sea together as a heap. He layeth up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe 
of him. Psalms 33, 1 through 8. Well, Paul, so he gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. Big deal. That's the rising of the tides. All the waters. With his, with his own um, impossible to mankind to comprehend, but with the, the pool of the grace of God, he can create a super moon, a spring equinox, a full moon of tides, and pull them together with the power of his might. Now, has he ever done it before? Go to Genesis chapter 1. Let's read what the scripture says. During the creation, by the grind, the, the, absolutely, by the greatest and the grand designer of all, God himself. We're going to read the first 10 verses of the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. Do you have time? Eternity's waiting. Some people are so, so busy with Charlie Sheen. They're worried about Justin Bieber or even Lady Gaga. They don't have time for the Word of God. Yet mountains are moving. Volcanoes are blowing. The island of Japan moved eight feet. The earth shifted off of its Axis by 9.8 inches. 21,000 Japanese people died in a split second of a 500 mile an hour, 30 foot high tsunami. The earth shook and trembled around the globe. 12 nations in the Middle East rioting brother against brother, hating each other. The Muslim monarchies falling apart. Bus bombs blowing up in Jerusalem. Dead birds. 5,000 in B.B. Arkansas. Blackbirds falling out of the sky at the midnight of New Year's Eve in Texas, in Louisiana, Kentucky, California, Sweden and Ireland, Venezuela and Brazil, New Zealand. A hundred dead whales washed ashore on New Zealand six hours before the earthquake of Christ Church, New Zealand, leaving 146 dead, a couple hundred injured. 7,000 eagles in Vancouver, Canada, gathered at dead carcasses of rats and scraps and poisoned food. Instead of soaring through the air with the mighty and the glory of God, hunting their own prey as they normally do, never gathering in such clusters of numbers, and certainly not to become a scavenger or a vulture. The eagles gathered together in Matthew 24, 28. Jesus said, when you see where the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. The world's falling apart, people. The world is falling apart. Are you saved? Are you saved? He said in, the, in Luke 21, 25, there will be signs in the sun, signs in the moon, signs in the stars. Nations will be in distress with perplexity. And the sea and the waves will roar like a tsunami. There were two suns seen setting over the sunset of China just a week or so ago, just before the supermoon. Can I read? Do you understand we're living in these last days? When Zechariah said, when all nations surround Israel shall hate it and want to attack Israel, Hamas attacked Israel today. March 23rd, 2011, blowing up a bomb in the streets in a crowded bus station Wounding 30, I don't know how many are going to die or have died. The Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together 
unto one place and let the dry land appear. Pull back the tides, God said. Create a super moon, a gravitational pull, the rising of the tides. Let land appear, it will be so strong. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called the seas. And God saw that it was good. Are you saved today? Do you realize there's not two sets of irises the same in the planet, in the entire world, nor anyone that ever lived before you, nor anyone's going to live after you? Do you know that the set of fingerprints on your hands are so unique, there's nobody else like it in the world? It's nearly 7 billion people, and there's not two set of prints that match. And the 6 billion that lived before us, none of them match with you. And if time lasts, the 6 billion more people that will be born after you, they still won't match. We don't have a computer on the planet that can design such a complex system of identification. Einstein and all of his great powerful wisdom and intellect, the most brilliant scientist, the smartest men and women of the world can't come close to the creativity of the master himself, God Almighty, who said, bring the waters up to one place. Rise the tide. Now, I want to read something to you real quick. I'm going to wrap this thing up quickly. This happened the night of the supermoon. The supermoon was blamed for causing five ships to run aground within hours in one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. Vessels hit sand banks that are not normally exposed. And between the Isle of Wight and Hampshire coast, as the phenomenon led to lower tides, the moon was at its closest to the earth in 18 years, and some believe it may have also triggered Japan's tsunami, although astronomers have dismissed the claims as pure nonsense. The pull of the moon is known to affect tides, however. Yesterday, the Coast Guards at the Needles on the western side of the Isle of Wight dealt with five ships in distress at the same time. Among them was a 2,900 Tony cargo ship called Paula C on its way to Coes. With a crew of nine, they were forced to wait for high tide to lift them clear of the shingle bank. A Coast Guard spokesman said a 25-foot yacht also run aground and three other vessels were also marooned by the unprecedented turn of events. He said, we checked them all. There were no injuries, just some very surprised faces being caught out of whack. Who could they blame? Blame it on the moon. Well, God's got all the power. He's got the power for your soul. He gave his son Jesus to die on the cross. And Jesus wants to gather the sin of your life. He wants to wash you. He wants to cleanse you with the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. Are you serious, Paul? Do you believe that Jesus can save my soul? Are you saying that everything that's happening on this planet was designed by God? It's in his master plan? Is he that wise master builder that Apostle Paul spoke about? Absolutely. Look around at the signs of his second coming. Are you saved? Send me a message right here on YouTube. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I'll help you tonight. We'll give you scripture. We'll coordinate tonight. Today, today, today is a salvation. Let's do it now. In Jesus' name. I'm Paul Begley. Go to my website. It's been refreshed. All new updates. Brand new. Every page. New fresh information new fresh prophecies, links to articles written about me, links to scriptures of salvation, links to the Parallel Bible, and to, and to some of my best YouTube videos of all time. Go there at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Become a partner. Be my friend. Let's agree together. But most of all, be saved. Let's go to heaven. God bless you. And remember, I hope you saw the super moon. Don't forget to Google the Red moon over the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C.